Okay, so we're gonna focus on two of the wide variety of phones that TCL is talking about releasing right now. Well, they're not talking about it. I mean, they're talking about the release. TCL sent us everything that they're doing for the next decade. That's a joke. This is their current lineup actually, but it equates to five different phones. TCL 35G, TCL 30 Plus, TCL 30 SE, TCL 30, and TCL 30E. I feel like just creating a puzzle of some kind. It's Quite the thing here. So what we have here is two ends of the spectrum for the TCL 30 series. This is the plus model, and this is gonna retail for 199 euros. On the other end of the spectrum, this is the E model, and this is 139 euros. Obviously, you're gonna get some more perks if you step up and go for the plus model. Get the 50 megapixel camera, you get a different chip inside, you get a much different finish on the outside of the device comparatively. Uh, you get an extra camera unit on the back. Both of them still maintain your headphone jack, but the Plus model puts it on the bottom, whereas the E model puts it at the top. Here, your fingerprint scanner is on the back of the device. Over here, it is in your power button. So as you can see, the displays are kind of comparable, though you do get a more aggressive, sort of modern screen-to-body ratio on the Plus model. This is the brighter of the two displays, especially as you begin to get uh, off access, as you can see right there. As far as the phones I look at, both of them representing a value proposition that I don't typically see on the channel. Looking at stuff that could be like $1,000, not here. 199 euros still gets you something that's a relatively modern looking package with a 50 megapixel camera a 5,010 milliamp hour battery, fast charging up to 18 watts. I'm gonna open up uh, some YouTube here and maybe pick a video and so we can hear the sound and see what video looks like. I did the, uh, a shot of ginger and lemon. Get out of here. Look at Mo with that yeah, angular, sort of that. green lighting. It's actually not mono. Look at that. Exterior scratches. Wait, That's a stereo sound. On one side, it's a little higher. On the other, it's a little bit lower. On the other model, I don't know how uh, they're going, going to approach this. This just looks like it has an earpiece. Maybe some audio will come out of there. The manager came up. I, excuse me, sir. I need to talk to you for a second. Okay. I was like, yeah, okay, go ahead. And he's like, that order that you made? You never made it. We didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so stereo is obviously better and just the sound quality in general is better. On the Plus model, I'm not surprised. It is a price difference. Now camera would be the other department where you might be curious uh, about performance. And this model, the Plus model, actually has quite a wide selfie camera. That's the differentiator here from the standard TCL 30. So if I go ahead and click on the One X, I actually get this really wide capability on the selfie camera. So as you can see here, like I could fit many people into this selfie frame. By default, it's just at this 1X setting, but if you want it, you can back out to there. Now this is obviously some kind of uh, digital crop. On this model and the regular TCL 30 for that matter and many in the lineup, when you click on the 1X, you can go to 1.5X, but you ultimately end up with uh, a, a crop getting in closer. You can't get wider on any of these other cameras. So that's a little bonus with the Plus model. If you can get the extra 60 euros, go for the Plus model right here. The display is nicer. Uh, the speakers are nicer. Obviously the spec is nicer. It's a, it's a little bit snappier. Uh, and the cameras. So then on the rear, when we, when we flip around to the rear, we have this 50 megapixel on the main camera. The other two cameras are probably not gonna blow you away as far as like two megapixel macro and a two megapixel depth, but this is the one that matters anyways. Your sort of stock uh, camera that, that's, that's gonna be on by default. I'll show you what you can expect here performance-wise by bringing out the plant. We're talking about a phone here, 199 euros, check it out. Automatic HDR engages, and we get this uh, pretty detailed and vibrant green artificial plant, world famous. We can also pull in the Tim Hortons cup real quick, see what reds look like on here. 
This is gonna be sufficient detail. Now, obviously I'm not shooting in 50 megapixel mode. Few actually will. That's inside of your settings if you just happen to want it. You can see it's 12 megapixel by default up to 50 megapixel, high pixel is what they call it. That's just gonna give you a little bit more crop capability afterwards, but you're gonna have much bigger file sizes. As far as video quality is concerned, you have up to 1080p, 16 by nine. All right, we are now recording some video and you are hearing the microphone. I'm gonna take a sip of this uh, coffee here and then I can put it back in frame. We'll see how the autofocus deals with it. And then Mo will also say hi to you in 1080p. Now, if we switch over to the more budget model and we bring back our same plant, we will get a nice little comparison of what happens at different budgets. Boom, 1X. Now the AI portion of the camera realizes immediately that this is a plant. Now the photo is definitely usable here, but I can tell immediately it's not at the same caliber as the Plus model. What have we discovered here today? Probably what you already expected. You can get a better phone for 199 euros than you can for 139 euros. What you're getting at either price point is a huge improvement over the way things used to be. And both of them are fairly modern feeling packages at their subsequent price points. Well, my impression here is that if you can step up to the plus model, this is kind of a more of a sweet spot from a price to performance ratio. You got the better display. You still got the big battery. I mentioned you have uh, some fast charge in there, a uh, 5,010 milliamp hour battery to be more specific. I like this application uh, as far as the fingerprint scanner goes. You also have a uh, face unlock in here. So you can have one of those uh, slightly more versatile unlock scenarios in which you can have both face unlock enabled and fingerprint. Now, a lot of this has to do with preference as well. So side mounted, versus rear mounted. You don't see a lot of rear mounted anymore. I never minded it though. I've used devices as my daily devices in the past with the rear mounted fingerprint and I'm fine with that as well. This just so happens to be where your thumb lands. So you're kind of there anyways. You can see my index doesn't necessarily go right to where the fingerprint scanner would be around there. So that movement might be a little bit more deliberate. It's a personal preference thing, whether or not you like your fingerprint scanner to be here versus on the back, but they're, these are typical tried and true technologies. They're both really easy ways to unlock the phone, so. And by the way, uh, we do have extra camera units here. I don't know how much use you're gonna get out of them since they're two megapixel, but it might be worth super macro. Here we go. Tiny little text, why not, on the cup. So it gets us really close to smaller objects. What's curious about this is sometimes if you just switch over to the high megapixel camera with, and then you digitally crop, sometimes you can even get a better close up. We'll see if it's possible here. You know what? I actually think I'm, I think on this, on this device, I'm using the 50 megapixel camera. I didn't even put it in the full pixel mode and still with a crop, you're getting real nice detail if you can steady your hand. What does this all mean? Well, it means you can get, we can get better phones today in 2022 at lower prices. That's the bottom line. 199 euros, 139 euros, and all types of varieties in between. You have the regular 30 model, the 30 plus model. You have the 5G model, which is coming out shortly if you want even faster connectivity. The E model that I'm holding right here, an SE model, there's a TCL 30 at different price points at like every 20 to 30 to 50 euro interval. So there's something for everyone depending on what spec you want. Like for example, if you don't want the ultra wide selfie on the plus model, you can get the regular TCL 30 for a little bit less, like 179 euros, actually 20 euros less. So it's really kind of like a pick and choose scenario where your budget can dictate how many features you want to get. Like almost like a la carte. What the hell does a la carte actually even translate to? On the cart? In the cart? Did the waiter come with a cart and, and you would pick oh, the items you would want, right? Like how did it originate? A la carte. Yeah. Right? So the cart comes up mm -hmm. and you don't have to even look at the menu. They just show you everything they have and it's then... The cart. 
they show you the cart and, and the cart's always going around. It's like, uh, but the car, but cart, oh, cart is card, like carte blanche. The menu, like blank check, carte blanche, white card. Francais! Can we just get a translation of a la carte? By the card. The literal meaning of the French phrase is by the card. There's no cart, obviously. The opposite of a la carte is a table de haute meal served at a fixed price. Wow, okay. You get your own selection, whatever you want, as opposed to a fixed menu where everybody who sits down gets like a variety. Have you ever eaten a fixed menu before? If you go to like a wedding or something, it's not a la carte. Anyway, yeah, this is like a menu. TCL has created a menu so that you can have the a la carte experience at intervals of, as mentioned, 20 to 30 to 40 euros across the entire lineup. But this one's probably the sweet spot. That's the TCL 30 plus. And look at it in this beautiful Atlantic blue. I, actually, you know what? I want to mention one more thing. I realized I didn't do this in the demonstration. I said, when you have the fingerprint scanner on the side, your thumb nicely rests there. Here's the other thing, if you're on your opposite hand, if you're left-handed, because some people are left-handed, and they don't, you, you, they don't uh, you, you know, I would never naturally demonstrate it, but you just enroll your middle finger and it lands on the exact same location and it's totally comfortable. So whenever I have a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, that's what I do, I register this finger and my right thumb, and it is no problemo, no, no problemo. Today's episode has been sponsored by the Power Cloud from iSwift. 65 watt high speed charging, charge it all at once. This can charge up to six devices at the same time. Adapter free, cable only charging to laptops. This sits on your desk and it solves every single problem. 65 watt power delivery, that's very important. This could alleviate some of those problems with uh, not having all the connection points you're looking for. One connector to rule them all. And look at that, ooh, okay, all right. Mo's gonna use this. Mo is gonna use this in his life, either here at work, possibly at home. I, I know this is right up your alley. I've seen the type of things that you like to plug in. I've watched it. Three uh, standard power ports on the top of the device here for uh, charging whatever plugs into a wall. A little three for one action. What's really cool here is on the front of the device, we have this nice green power LED, two USB-C style connectors and one USB-A style connector for charging everything that you might have, including up to 65 watts, which of course can charge your laptop. And the whole thing is a nice little clean setup with rubber feet on it. There's a dedicated power switch in that location. So C1 is capable of 65 watts. C2 is 20 watt capable and the USB-A port is uh, 18 watts. We are charging up, look at that, beautiful. You could have a laptop, you could have a tablet, and a smartphone all charging at the same time, plus have access to these uh, typical traditional power ports for whatever ver other variety of chargers you might have, maybe like a camera battery or something like that. So this is just a nice little clean way to tidy up the desk keep everything nice and neat, and never be short on extra ports. It is the iSwift PowerCloud.